Select businesses and individuals adversely affected by the pandemic are eligible to receive a third round of COVID-19 disaster relief here in the nation. Many applicants quickly receive payments, but according to our Min Soo Kyun, others experience some inconveniences. South Korea is rolling out its third round of COVID-19 relief funds to help small businesses and workers across the country. The amount they will receive depends on the nature of their business and what restriction they suffered. Those who have had to shut down, such as singing rooms and gyms, will receive about 2,800 U.S. dollars, while those who have had to restrict their business hours, such as restaurants and cafes, will get $1,800. For businesses whose annual sales are under $365,000 and who saw a decrease in sales due to virus prevention measures will receive $915. Workers deemed to be at risk during the pandemic will also receive cash payments. Those receiving the payments for the first time will have to go through a screening process to get $915, US but those who have received earlier support will get half that amount without screening. Starting Monday, text messages were sent to those eligible for aid, but there was slight confusion among business owners over how to apply for the assistance. Today, only those whose business license ends with an odd number can apply. So if people with an even number try to apply, they might get a message that they're not eligible. Those whose business license ends with an odd number can apply on Monday, while those ending with an even number can do so on Tuesday. From Wednesday, all can apply and online applications are recommended. In principle, we only receive online applications. But for people who are not used to applying online, they can visit a support center for small businesses, which can help them with their application. More than 670,000 people have already applied in the first six hours, and some have even started receiving funds from Monday afternoon. South Korea plans to complete 90 percent of the relief payments before the Lunar New Year holiday. Min Suk-kyun, Arirang News.